There is only one month left to buy my plushie, and if you want to own a piece of Travis Plush Productions history, then get over to ownedge.com and buy it now, because when June hits, it's gonna be gone forever, and you won't be able to buy it anymore, but uh, only if you want to. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, bye. Crab fights! <laughs> I bet you my crab can be your crab. Nah, no way your crab's beating my crab. My crab's way crabbier than your crab. Oh, well, that crab didn't be possible. <laughs> How bad that pun was clawful. God dang it! You denounced my pun with your pun! That's... D disgusting! Whatever, my crab's still gonna cook your crab's ass! <laughs> oh boys! What do you want, Elder Kettle? Yeah, we're in the middle of crab fighting! See? Crabs. That's great and all, but I want to talk to you about some mail that came in. Huh? What mail? Yeah, I didn't think I'd get anything addressed to me. This is more to the residents than any of you specifically, but it's a sign-up form for summer camp. What's summer camp? Uh, well, there's specific little camps and clubs and doodads that you can join, and you go there for a good chunk of your summer, and you can pick up a new hobby or learn a new skill. I did them back in my day. We had one on painting. I painted a mean vase during my day. Yeah, it was good. Wait, so is it just kind of like school, but for very specific niche things? Yeah, they got a lot. Sports, arts and crafts, music. There's even one on being a radio show host. Uh, you said school. That's boring! Yeah, I don't want to go to school. Especially during the summer. You sure? There's some pretty cool things on here. Nah. nah. Alright, well, show yourselves. Yeah, we're just gonna throw this away. <gasps> One, two, three! I win! No fair, you cheated! Ah, my eye! Well, you know, I probably should ask Chalice if she wants to do any of these before I throw it away. Where is that girl? Maybe the boys know. Oh, boys, one more thing. <laughs> yes, Papa Kettle? Anyway, uh, you know where Chalice is? I just wanted to ask her about it first. Uh, I think she's in her room sleeping. I think she said she was going to take a nap. Okay, I'll just go ask her real quick. Thanks, boys. Have fun uh, killing each other. Oh, shucks, Alda Kettle. <laughs> Chalice! Oh, Chalice! <laughs> I'm gonna wake her from her slumber. Ah, Chalice! You wanna sign up for summer camp? Yeah, this is really important. You can do a lot of cool stuff like hobbies and stuff. Your other, your little friends, a couple of those bros, didn't didn't want to do any of them. Yeah, I just want to make sure you wanted to do something before you know I throw it away and no one gets to do anything. Uh, um, what, 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 what? They got some cool options on here. You know, they got you know arts and crafts, sports. Ooh, uh, you know they got uh, painting, tennis, flight lessons. That sounds kind of cool. That one, yeah, one of us fine, do that one. Okay. Oh, really? You want to do flight lessons? Okay, sure. That was pretty interesting. I was almost a part of the Air Force back in my military days, but then, uh, they told me, uh, you wouldn't last a day in the air, and I told them, yeah, I would, and then I went in the air, and I threw up everywhere, and it was pretty yucky. But I'll write your name down for flight lessons and send it in. Uh, I think it's gonna start sometime in June. Okay, anyways, uh, have fun playing or whatever you're doing right now. Ah, what a beautiful June morning. Good morning, Chalice. Good morning, Cuphead. Good morning, Cuphead. Good morning, Muggsy. Good morning, my man. Good morning, Chalice. This is a beautiful June morning. You said it. Nothing could possibly make this day abnormally eventful at all. Just a fantastic, beautiful June morning. Correct the mundo. Me and my two favorite boys. <sighs> oh, sorry, the door. Let me go get it. Oh, good morning. Good morning, sir.
You must be Elder Kettle. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's my name. Don't wear it out. I surely won't. So who are you, lady? I am Mrs. Hildeberg. You must have forgotten what I'm doing here. I'm here to pick up the young chalice for her flight lessons. Ah, oh, just today? Man, I almost forgot about that. Phew, time flies. Felt like I just signed her up for those lessons like two minutes ago. Why, yes, time really does fly. June got here so fast. Well, she should be right in the living room. Now. Come follow me. All right. Uh, she should be right here, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about, Elder Kettle? Oh, dear, you must be Miss Chalice. Uh, yeah. What about it? Who the heck are you, lady? I am Mrs. Hildeberg, your flight class instructor. My what? Uh, Mr. Elder Kettle, is this lady talking crazy? Huh? No, she's not talking crazy. Remember a few months ago when I came into your room and I asked you about those summer camp lessons? No. And you said, I said, hey, you want to do flight school? And you said, oh, yeah, sure, Elder Kettle, that sounds fine. And I was like, okay, I'll put your name down. And you didn't really, you seemed to, you seemed to prove of it. No, I didn't sign up for that at all. Oh, wait, you signed up for flight lessons? Really? Yeah, I mean, Cuphead and I declined that whole summer camp thing, but at least picked something a little cooler than flight lessons. Young man, I'll have you know, flight lessons are very distinguished, and I will not have you making fun of the young chalice while she's trying to, you know, pursue her hobbies. Hobbies? These ain't my hobbies! I don't want to go to no crazy flight lessons! Well, honey, you're going to have to. You signed up for them, after all. Please! No! I don't want to go! Save me! Huh. That sounds very consensual. We go help Nah, it sounds boring. Hey, listen, flying's not boring. I was almost in the Air Force once. Dex's the Air Force. You ever heard of the Air Force? It's a section of the military. They fly planes and jets and they fly over buildings and go shoom, shoom, shoom. And they can shoot down other planes like And sometimes they even drop bombs like Not quite but like more like pew. they haven't quite invented bombs that big yet hmm these plane things sound interesting yeah so Charles is gonna get to like fly a plane that like shoots guns and like drops bombs and stuff maybe i don't know uh, that does sound pretty cool maybe we should hitchhike on the bus yeah see you all the kettle we'll go to summer camp wait ah! oh uh, you boys have fun no i didn't just ask to sign up for it the first time stupid kids what do i do now i'm all by myself I'm gonna go read a book. Yeah. Books. We are here! Ugh. You know, I don't go in these car things too often, so this is just sort of an interesting experience. Well, it's the last time you'll be in a car until you leave this camp, so, uh, I guess you'll miss it. Ugh, whatever. Right, uh, let me go park this real fast. Hmm. Whoa. This place is pretty open. I ain't never been this far out of town before. All right, you'll only be here for a few days, so why don't we get started on your first lesson? <sighs> All right. All right, hop in, dearie. Whoa. Huh, this is pretty cool. First lesson is starting the engine. We're just going to drive around before we actually take off for the first time. Just flick the engine, push on the gas, and drive around in a few circles. Uh, okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Ah, you're doing splendid, dearie. If you feel you're ready, just pull up on the wheel. Okay. <laughs> wow! Goodness me, you're a natural. <sighs> Everything's so small down there. This is crazy. I think you're ready for the final test. Oh, uh, what's that, Mr. Hildeberg? We're going to do a barrel roll. Are you sure I'm ready for that? I have faith in you, dearie. Pull up to the side and then back down. Okay. Wow! Oh! <laughs> yes! Wow! That was crazy! <laughs> you did outstanding, dearie. Born natural at flight, it's like you were meant to do it. Thanks. I mean, it's not with the machines or nothing, but I do have a little bit of experience flying myself. Really? How so? Uh, I'd rather not go into it if that's okay. Nah, that's fine. Hell, I think that was some good rest today. 
Let me show you to your room. Oh, uh, okay. Here you are. This is where you'll be sleeping, dearie. Wow, this bed's huge. Uh, ah. oh, this is nice. Only the best for my students. Thanks, Miss Hildeberg. This has been crazy. You know, I'll be honest, signing up for this whole camp was a fluke, but it's been fun. Yes, well, we'll have a few more days together, and then you get to go back home. <sighs> All right, well, bed by in a few hours. I'll let you have some resting period. Telly's on the wall if you want to watch anything. If you need anything, ask me before sunset, because at that point, I'll be to bed. Uh, okay, thanks, Miss Hildeberg. Wow, this is cool. Gosh, I knew flying like a ghost was really neat, but I never thought flying a machine would feel so different. I feel so in control of the area. I feel so alive! Man, I wonder what the boys are doing right now with their summertime. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> We've been walking for so long. Oh my god. It's been all day. We are following these stupid tire tracks. I'm wondering maybe we picked up a different car. If we picked up a different car and I lost, I might cry. Where the heck is Chalice? I don't know. Is this a cabin? Let's see if anyone's home. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Hello, is anyone home? <laughs> Hi, boys. What are you guys doing here? We followed you because we were interested. We weren't interested. We were just, uh, we just bored. We were bored and we missed you. That's why we showed up. Okay, I was a little interested. Well, the kid talked about it was almost in the Air Force, and he made it sound so cool about how you could, like, fly planes and do cool tricks and stuff and shoot things. Have you got to shoot anything yet? Uh, I've not quite done that yet, but, you know, I've been flying around. I did actually do a cool flip. <gasps> That's so cool. Yep, I'm an earnborn natural. It comes second nature, I guess. Do you think we could fly a plane? Well, you're not rolling to the course, so I don't really think so. <laughs> Chalice, please. I beg of you. I beg, please. I can't really control anything about it. That had to be up to Hilleberg. Uh, why don't we just go ask her right now? Uh, I don't know, guys. The sun's starting to go down. And she said not to disturb her at sunset. As she uh, goes to bed. Oh, come on. Would it not just hurt to ask the question now? So then we can just fly tomorrow. Wait, where do you two plan on sleeping? Here? <sighs> well, there goes the big bed I was excited about. Come on, Chalice, please. Yeah, please. Right. Listen, if she gets pissed at me, I'm blaming the two of you. Because I do not want to get in trouble with her. We have a good thing going on. Me and her, we're like this. Jeez, he was like clawing at the walls earlier. Eh, well, she's nice. She also complimented my flying skills. You know, I've got to ask something real quick, Chalice. Hmm? What is it? So have you, like, made any friends here? Oh, uh, no, it's just me and her. That's weird. You'd think a summer camp would have more than two people in it. Yeah, usually when I see pictures and stuff, there's like 40 or 50 people there. There's just like, nobody here. Yeah, that is a little weird. This is only a few day course after all, so I don't know, maybe people just come during different times of the summer. Hmm, weird. All right, well, let's go visit that Hildeberg lady before the sun goes down and the moon goes up and it gets all dark and stuff. Yeah. Okay, Hilda, you can't mess this up. As long as the young chalice stays in the cabin, everything should be fine. She won't even notice. And the morning will come, like nothing happened. You've got this. You've got this. She's a good girl. She'll listen to me. What was that? Oh god, the chalice better not be here. Maybe it was just a stick. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Were the cup kids you saw earlier? Yeah, hi, Hildeberg. Hello, Miss Hildeberg. What are you doing here? Chalice! I explicitly told you not to disturb me after sundown. Ah, I'm sorry. Well, these two showed up and they talked about wanting to have flight lessons. Oh! Ah, uh, well, that's very generous of the two of you, but please, I, I would not like to be disturbed. You can start in the morning, whatever, it's fine, just get out! What? I don't need to get out. I mean, oh, thank you, Miss Hildeberg. We'll get right and start in the morning. I uh, no need to disturb you anymore. Come on, guys. Yeah, come on, Cuphead. What's wrong? Why, why do we gotta leave like this? Just get out! All right, all right. Jesus, lady, God. <laughs> I hope she gets back to her cabin soon. That was weird. How come? I don't know, she was just so pushy with us leaving. She was like, get the hell out of my cabin! I don't know, Cuphead. We did kind of disturb her when I, she explicitly told me not to. I feel bad. I don't know why. What the heck she doing in there? Is she doing weird adult things? Like writing taxes? Tax season was a couple months ago. There's no way. Listen, boys, let's just go to sleep and not worry about it. What the hell was that sound? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look up there. The moon looks real pretty. Yeah, it does. It's all dark and stuff, but it's in a really cool crescent shape. Yeah, the highlighted rim of the light bouncing off the back of it really adds a lot. Uh, boys? What? Yeah, what? That's not the moon. That's the moon. Wait, so if that's the moon, 
Then what is that? Maybe it's like one of those like really passive creatures or something. They just kind of prowl, but they don't actually disturb you. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, maybe everything will be fine. <laughs> Is it banging near the window? I don't know. Cuphead, go look at it. Uh, okay. <laughs> My legs are all jelly. Guys, I don't like this. Uh, hello there. Is anyone there? Maybe it's just like a like a fox or a rabbit or something like warm and nice. Cuphead, don't say that. Maybe, maybe she's just, she's just scary, and, and maybe she'll, she'll, she'll just stand there all night. We won't get sleep, but at the very least, we won't have to think about it. <laughs> Why is she banging on the window? I'm gonna come get. said that Elder Kettle said that people used to fight in planes? Yeah, something along those lines called the Air Force or whatever. They used to shoot guns and drop bombs. What are you suggesting, Chalice? Come on, boys. I got an idea. <laughs> oh, Chalice is in a plane. Never really got to see what all these buttons did. Whoa. It does shoot. You boys are right. Too bad we left. Totally defenseless right now. Boys. There's two planes back there. Go hop in. Let's go. I just hope that evil moon thing doesn't show up. <laughs> Thank you, Chalice. No problem. All right, hop in, Mugs. Ah, whoa, <laughs> this plane thing's weird. No, we're going to have to get used to it. Why is yours so much smaller than mine? There's this button that says shrink that seems to be jammed. Huh, weird. <laughs> Did you hit me? <laughs> Cut that where you go. <laughs> I'm spinning out. <laughs> the boys are going to hang in this. <laughs> uh oh, wait, why is the plane doing this? <laughs> Cuphead! Oh no! Cuphead, pull up! Pull up! You have to pull up! Dizzy! Ah! I'm gonna crash! I'm gonna die! Oh, pull up! Pull up! Pull up! That was overpowering in every way possible. Boss, why did you drag me out here at 10 in the night? I was just getting my sleepy gear on, getting ready to have a good nap. I got a notification on my chaos notifier. What's this for again? It's because. Do you remember the old pilot lady I placed a curse on a few years ago? Oh, huh, yes, I, I think so. Something along those lines, yes. Well, apparently, she's gotten into a fight with someone, which hasn't happened for a long, long time because she's, you know, suspended all of her, you know, flight classes and stuff. Everyone's been afraid of it because she becomes some giant freaky moon at night. I, I don't want to explain the whole curse right now. That's not the point. The point is that she's apparently fighting those stupid cops. 
and the chalice friend, or whatever the heck her name is. Really? Those cups that did all that stuff to you and, and bet all their money against you, and then you, you gave them the soul contracts, and then they just kind of didn't do it, and you're still kind of pissed at them, but you can't really do anything because you don't really do that? Yes, those cups. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have just killed them, but... I don't know, I've got a large-scale operation going on, and we're kind of just in downtime right now, so I'm deciding to watch this, because I want to watch them die and die, because then I can claim their souls. They'll be mine, and they'll be delicious. I'll be honest, I really don't know how this series runs up the old canon. We're just kind of screwing stuff together, because it's Cuphead who gives a shit. Yeah, and all our voices changed magically in 2022. That was... That was weird. Ooh, looks like the action's picking up. Oh, I wish I had some popcorn. <gasps> some evil popcorn. I love evil popcorn. Do you think we can make evil popcorn? I love popcorn. All right, guys, get ready to fire everything you got. Uh, uh, on your mark, Chalice, you're the most experienced at this, right? <laughs> One, two, almost there. Chalice, how much longer we gotta keep this up? I don't know. I was kind of expecting it to go by down by now. Chalice, I'm out of ammo. Huh? Oh God, me too. <laughs> what in the? My tuchus. Huh? Oh, dear me. Oh. Ah, wait. It's night, and I'm not... And I'm not cursed. Miss Hildeberg, it really was you! Ah, Miss Chalice! Oh, goodness, you almost gave me a scare. What happened? You transformed this big, scary, mean moon lady! And you tried attacking me and my friends! Then we all got in the planes and we started shooting at you! And then I turned into a bomb or something? Blew towards you, sadly the plane's blown up, but you seem okay. I'm more than okay! You lifted the curse I've been placed on me! Oh, young one, I can't thank you enough! <laughs> You're welcome! Oh, your friends! I think we still need to work on the landing. <laughs> that shrink button is so strange. Miss Hildeberg, you're okay! Yes, I am okay. Thank you, boys, so much for saving me. Uh, boss, I think you might want to look down there. Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh, God, they got him riled up again. I think you three have officially earned your pilot's licenses. Wow, really? Thanks, Hildeberg. Yeah, ma'am, it's a real honor. Oh, welcome. Uh, where's that cup, though, so I can give him his? <laughs> <laughs> the devil? Huh? The devil? What is he doing here? Oh no! It's that creep who cursed me all those years ago. That's why I had that moon thing happen to me. <laughs> this is all wrong! You were supposed to be cursed, and they were supposed to bite you, and they were supposed to die in a big fire explosion! Pew 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 pew! <laughs> this is an outrage! Yeah, you all seem to have uh, made him mad now, so. Yeah. I'm so upset! My rage levels are unfathomably high! I want justice! I want order! I want an explosion! Where's that cuphead kid? Uh, guys, my plane's running kind of funny. I can't quite figure out how to get it to turn off. Oh, 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 oh! Watch out! Oh, oh dear. seat at the last second before I ran right into him. Whew, that was a close call. Perhaps I need to get a recall on these planes. Oh, Cuphead, uh, here's your flight license. Oh, uh, thank you. I don't know if I want to fly a plane again after that, but uh, thank you anyway. What happened to the devil? <laughs> oh, oh, every bone in my body is broken. Oh, I want to go home. No! Oh, come on. Let's get you to the hell ICU. Which is even worse, because the healthcare is really expensive. No! Oh, I don't want to. My insurance isn't going to cover this. 
Well, that happened. Thanks for the flight lessons, Hildeberg. This is really fun. Yes, thank you all for saving me. Perhaps now with my curse lifted, more students will want to attend my flight class. Yeah, and we'll get some real pilots one day. <sighs> Can we go to bed now? I'm tired.